It just come out again in the next step? Yeah, well if you get a stone, uh, you know, that's sort of like, say, stuck here, and you kind of stick, stick to it, you, you just scrape it off on the next run. Yeah. The thing is, uh, whenever I used to run in shoes, after about a mile, I'd always get a stone in my shoe. If you've got a stone in your shoe, what, what can you do? What can you do? Stop taking out. If I get, if I get a stone stuck to my foot, it'll just come off. So, it's actually, you know, the the downsides are way, way, way smaller than people make them. They really are. It's just, um, it's so simple. You just take your shoes off, go running, and go home. That's it. There's no mucking around. You don't have to buy your shoes. You don't get blisters. Your toenails don't come off. You don't get plantar fasciitis, you don't get knee pains, you don't get shin splints, you don't have to buy shoes. And everywhere you go, you're famous. I mean, it's a win win situation. So, do you run on just roads um, with bare feet, or do you do sort of on um, turf no, I, as well? I, I, I run uh, on Malvern Hills quite a lot, so I get used to kind of like very rocky surfaces and walking around running. But the roads, as, as, as the barefoot runners say, the, the, the trail is your main course and the roads are your pinning. They're lovely roads, beautiful, smooth, tall, and like It's like heaven. <laughs>